हाई फ्रेंड्स माई टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया फॉर रेडियोग्राफी एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस इज एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर परफॉर्मेंस क्वालिफिकेशन परफॉर्मेंस क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ वेल्डर और वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट सो दिस एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया हैज बिन गिवेन इन ए एस एम ई बॉयलर एंड प्रेसर वेसल सेक्शन नाइन एसएमई बॉयलर एंड प्रेशर वेसल कोड सेक्शन नाइन सो यू फाइंड दिस एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया इन सेक्शन नाइन द पैरा विच इज बिंग यूज इज क्यू डब्ल्यू वन नाइंटी वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू वन नाइंटी वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू एंड इट इज गिवेन in page number 21 of 2017 edition 2017 edition of asme you will find it in page number 21 so let's start friends for acceptance criteria asme has used two terminologies these are first one is linear indication and the second terminology which has been used in asme is rounded indication linear indication and rounded indication this word indication has been used for imperfection or discontinuity so linear indication is is the one in which the length length of the imperfection or discontinuity is greater than 3 times the width of the discontinuity if length is greater than 3 times the width of the discontinuity then that imperfection or discontinuity shall be termed as linear indication and in rounded indication the length of the discontinuity shall be equal to or less than 3 times the width of the discontinuity friends in linear indication mostly we find cracks cracks lack of penetration or incomplete penetration and lack of fusion or incomplete fusion and one more we have slack so these are some of the linear indications in rounded indication we will find porosity or inclusions inclusion in the form of slag inclusion or tungsten inclusion so these are the two terminologies which have been used in asme section 9 now we'll proceed to the acceptance criteria for linear indication for linear indication if we have a linear indication then the acceptance criteria is like this the first one is any type of crack crack lack of penetration or incomplete penetration lack of fusion shall be rejected means this is not at all allowed crack lack of penetration lack of fusion shall be rejected the second criteria is any elongated slag inclusion which has a length greater than 3 mm if the length length of slag inclusion is greater than 3 mm for t less than 10 mm t is the thickness of the deposited weld metal deposited weld metal suppose this is your test coupon 
test copper and here the welder has deposited deposited some weld metal so the thickness of de deposited weld metal is given here here one more thing i want to tell you in this thickness we do not consider the allowable reinforcement the reinforcement is not considered so if the length of elongated slag inclusion is more than 3 mm for thickness of deposited copper less than 10 mm the test copper shall be rejected this is this will not be not accepted under this heading we have one more criteria if thickness of the test copper thickness of the deposited weld metal is more than or equal to 10 mm and less than or equal to 15 7 mm these two figures are inclusive more than or equal to 10 mm less than or equal to 57 mm then the length of elongated slag inclusion which is going to be uh, which shall be rejected is 1/3 of the t 1/3 of the t length is more than 1/3 of the t then it shall be rejected and if the thickness of deposited weld metal is more than 57 mm thickness of the deposited weld metal is more than 57 mm then any elongated slag inclusion which length exceeds 19 mm length exceeds 19 mm shall be rejected so these are the criteria for elongated slag inclusion here we we have one more criteria for linear indication that is for suppose we have this is our cross section of deposited weld metal and we have here inclusion slag we have uh, we do have some slag inclusion in line so if the aggregate length aggregate length of all the slag inclusion is greater than t t is the thickness of the deposited weld metal so if the aggregate length of the slag inclusion exceeds the thickness of deposited metal then that shall be rejected for example suppose this is 3 mm 1 mm 4 mm and this is 3 mm so the aggregate length of all these inclusions shall be 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 4 8 and 8 plus 3 11 11 11 mm and let us consider the thickness of deposited weld metal equal to 10 mm so the aggregate length of the elongated slag inclusion is exceeding the thickness of the deposited weld metal hence in this case it shall be rejected yet one more criteria has been given here that is the distance between the successive imperfections successive slag slag inclusions shall not be more than 6l and l is the length of the longest slag inclusion here the longest slag inclusion is 4 mm hence 6l means 6 into 4 equal to 24 so the distance between the successive uh, successive inclusions shall not be more than 24 if it is more than 24 then that shall be not then that shall not be considered and one more criteria which has been mentioned that this aggregate uh, you know aggregate length shall be considered within a length of 12t means first to fourth first to fourth aggregate uh, first to fourth inclusion distance between this inclusion shall not be more than 12t means it should be within 12t then only we can consider so this is the criteria for linear indication now we'll move towards the rounded indication so friends a rounded indication yes 
so in rounded indication we have the first criteria and that is maximum permissible dimension i'll write it down maximum permissible dimension dimension for the rounded indication shall be 20% of t again t is the thickness of deposited weld metal or 3 mm whichever is less if the rounded indication if the th if the if the dimension of the rounded indication is suppose we have 4 mm uh, 20% 20% of t is 4 mm suppose 20% of t is 4 mm then we shall uh, consider 3 mm as our criteria and any rounded indication more than 3 mm shall be rejected and suppose if the 20% of t is 2.5 mm then in that case we will consider 2.5 mm as our criteria and any rounded indication more than 2.5 shall be rejected. So this is the first criteria. The second criteria is for wells in material less than 3 mm. If the thickness of the test coupon is less than 3 mm. If the material thickness is less than 3 mm, then the maximum number of acceptable rounded indications shall not exceed 12. Here, if we have rounded indication like this, then maximum number of the rounded indication shall not be more than 12. If it is more than 12, then it shall be rejected. And if it is less than 12, it shall be accepted. This is for thickness uh, of material less than uh, or equal to 3 mm. Here one more criteria ASME section 9 has given that is a proportionately fewer number of rounded indications shall be permitted in weld less than 150 mm in length. So friends, this is uh, our second criteria. Now, we will move to our third criteria. One more thing I want, uh, I would like to uh, tell you which I missed here. It is the maximum number of, uh, in, uh, it is 12 number which is accepted, but this 12 number of rounded indication shall be within a length of 6, uh, 12 inch. Sorry, 6 inch or 150 mm. So this is this should be within a length of 150 mm. Now, friends, the third criteria is ASME section 9 has given one figure, uh, means uh, figures that we have mentioned from figures that is in QW 191 point one point two point two b4 and these are the patterns according to which you can accept or reject the test coupon so this is what asme section 9 has been just mentioned for rounded indication friends i hope you like this video please do comment and uh, please give your suggestions and feedbacks thank you very much